Welcome to downtown Reykjavik and welcome back to Boost Football exploring. Stop laughing at me, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What'd you say? I said, was he talking to himself? <laughs> there will come once again a player to capture the imagination and the hearts of the world. Welcome to Iceland. We have our whip right here. Don't even know what car brand it is. Uh, let me introduce you to some of the crew. This is Paul Wright. What's up? He's a videographer. I do things sometimes. Steve is a photographer. If you've been a subscriber from the beginning, then you probably remember our Ireland trip. If you're a new subscriber, I'll link in the description below the Ireland trip, but we're gonna do similar stuff here in Iceland. We're exploring the country and especially exploring the culture of football here. Up first, we have to stop here to see if we can get a soccer ball. If anyone is watching this and they're Icelandic, hopefully Sports Direct has soccer balls. About to find out. Got it. All right, time to head out of Reykjavik. All right, so the first club we're going to interview in Iceland is called IBV. They're actually located um, on a smaller island um, known as the Westman Islands. Um, so we're heading there currently. Here's where we're going on a map. So we are currently here in Reykjavik. And then we're going all the way along here. Down to here to catch a ferry. Ferry over to the island. That's where IBV is. So I'm on the back of this ferry. We're pulling out of port right now. Let's go to the front. I'll give you a tour. This place is the coolest. What do you think so far, Paul? Great. Great experience. Great. No complaints. Oh my gosh, I can't keep my balance on this thing.
fairy was a success, minus the fish smell. Ooh, it reeks. Then we gotta go find Steve. He had to park the car in the belly of the beast. Park the car. It's like a Mini Cooper from here. <laughs> there he is. Hey. So this is our Airbnb on the island. If you come over here, they have this um, IBV clock, and that is actually the club that we're going to interview tonight. So whoever owns this house are big fans. All right, guys, we've arrived at IBV. Um, check out this view, it's so sick. So we're just wrapping up, finishing uh, finishing filming John Danielson. Um, he's the director of youth coaching as well as the manager of the women's side, not the coach, but the manager of the women's side. Um, so you'll be seeing that video at a later time. It'll take a little longer to edit. Uh, when it, once it's edited though, it'll be in the link in, in uh, the description. So if you come back, you can watch that. Thanks, Paul. For filming, thanks Steve for filming. We came back into the football house. What do you call this football house in Icelandic? Uh, okay, that's what you call it. And they challenge us to America versus Iceland uh, football match. You guys ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Guys, sorry that America had to win. It was great playing you. <laughs> hey, that's the biggest Icelandic kid here. <laughs> Get ready for our first day here in Iceland. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow we have to get up bright and early. Probably we're gonna catch a sunrise. Maybe, we might get up early to catch a sunrise. But we have about six or eight hours worth of driving tomorrow, so it's gonna be a lot of driving. Hope you enjoyed the first day. Hope you enjoy the second. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Step three is the final step. It's going around the ball, counterclockwise. I love soccer because it's the greatest sport on earth. I love soccer because it unifies people beyond race, culture, and language. I love soccer because it makes my family proud. I like soccer because it lets me use my speed. <laughs> <laughs>